Hi and welcome back to Chad's show. So today I will be doing a review on these two. This one is called the Plenos Swamp Cooler. And this one is called the SPTSF608RA Swamp Cooler. As you can see the, them side by side, you can see the height difference. And you can see the front facing. I'll explain to you in detail about both. We'll start with the Plenos Swamp Cooler. I hope that is what it's called, Plenos. I don't know how to say it correctly, but it's Plenos. As you can see here, it has an on an off button, natural button, timer, evaporator, speed, oscillator, and on button. You can see the grill is bigger than the other one, and it's taller too. And you can see there is also a water indicator window. But there is water, but you're unable to see that even with light shining on it. So you can also see at the bottom here, there are wheels, call them casters, allow you to move it from place to place. There's also, as I'm turning this to the side, a place to carry right here on both sides. And if I turn this around, as you can see here in the back, this is what the back looks like. Now, just to show you, I've been using this for a while, and it does collect dust. You can tell at the bottom, it does collect dust like crazy. I have to clean it and wipe it often. If you open this, you'll also see that it collects dust in this area. And I left it here on purpose just to show you what it looks like. So when we got this swamp cooler, it came with a screen filter and I'll show you that here. This is where the screen filter used to be. And it's a roll of film that went into the water to be or to allow air to be cooled so what would happen is you can see here where the um, area here where the screen was or the filter was um, that film would go over these rolling pin things and then it will roll over and it go it goes directly into the water and you can see here there is water in here that's where the water goes and it will roll in there on these rollers here as you put it inside here like this and it will continuously roll and that's how you get the cooling effect okay after some time um here it was that we found out that the film started to turn red and that's the reason why we're it's not here anymore because it's it's um you know no longer able to uh, be cleaned so the red is a sign of it looks sick looking it had to be cleaned with Clorox um, to remove the, the you know to remove the stink and it shrank shrank so it was hard to put it back as every time you washed it it shrunk so that's the reason why I removed it and the reservoir started to build up calcium so you can see down here you see where the white area is it, it begins to settle and create calcium and the calcium deposits and that is very hard to scrape off and very hard to clean and that's the one thing i did not like but i continue to use it since that was the you know that's all i had so we use this i used this for a long time so we had this for a couple of years now and there is a removable, and I like this part, the removable container. So you can see here, I'm able to pull this out and clean it. See, I can move it out, put it back in, and you can clean it. So I like this feature um, because I was able to clean the water and, and put new water in it. And even when you put the ice in here, there are ice blocks that we put in the freezer. We put it in here. It didn't change the temperature much. It cooled it. And then after that, when it melted, it would 
become warm air again. So let me show you what it sounds like. So when you turn it on, it starts at a low speed. So I'll let you hear what a low speed sounds like. You can feel the air. Low speed, medium speed, and high speed. So I'll put there. You can actually hear the wind blowing into the camera. So this is at high. Okay. This is at high. Okay. Put it back at low. And then there's an oscillation. I'll show you that. And I'll show you deep within here one thing. If you can see in there, that has rusted out. That has rusted out. That's the part I didn't like about this because every time it'll rust, it'll break off and pieces of that would fall into the water at the bottom. You're able to adjust this, this airflow. The oscillating, speed, evaporative. That, that allows the cooling pad to turn. You put a timer. And you can, you can also have natural, which is not allowing me to. Yeah, so natural doesn't work on this. Anyway, and you can turn it off. So that's what that sounds like. Let me show you now the SPT. So this is a review for the SPT SF608RA or it's a swamp cooler and it's sometimes called sump in town um i did not put it in this review because a lot of people know this swamp cooler as spt sf 608 ra so let me show you the buttons like the other one this one has a timer for hours you can go up to seven and a half hours this has a swing or is similar to your um, oscillator there's a speed high medium low natural and sleep this one turns on the cool air or humidifier and I'll show you that in the back and the on and off switch the airflow once again is smaller than the other one here see how big down is this is a little smaller um, the water indicator is at the bottom here and I'll show you that right now as you can see you can actually see that it's about halfway see right there it's halfway if I were to shake it the water moves you see it the water the water is actually moving so there you go so that is the water indicator. It also has wheels at the bottom like the other. It has a place to carry. I'll turn it to the side here. A place to carry on both sides. And as you notice, there's an extra compartment here. Um, it's a water dispensing area. Open it up, place your water, your ice in this area. and. This one doesn't have it, but if you look here, it says here, there's an area where you can put an ice right at the top. That is pretty neat. I like that. And there's a note. If you hear an odd sound, the water tank may be empty. Please add water or turn off cool mode, and which is this button right here. All right, let's go take a look at the back at the dust filter screen. As you can see, this is the dust filter screen. This hole is where a screw was and you would have to take it on and off. And I didn't feel that I needed it, so I took it off. And you're able to pull the screen. So this is the dust screen, you can rinse it as you wish. And as you can see here, there is a filter. Now this filter is a little different than the 
cloth filter that was in the planos. This filter is mesh. You can see here it's a mesh filter. The air can pass through easily. You can actually see inside and underneath. And I did cut it a little at the bottom because I like the sound of the water. And if you can look at the bottom there, you can probably see, yeah, right there, the water pump, the tiny water pump right there. That water pump allows the water to go up. That water pump right there goes up here to the place where the water comes out. See, you can already see, I think it's like collecting some water deposits and that's why you have to clean it out every month with vinegar. And so I'm going to show you that after this. I'll show you how this whole thing runs. Um, yeah, so you pour the, the vinegar in the water here and it'll flow through the system. And the thing I like about this is because it it's cooler uh, when water goes through this and, you know, I, I feel the difference. And if you put ice, there's even a greater difference in how it feels. The cons or the things I dislike about this. Number one, I am not able to clean inside. I can't get inside to clean it with my hands. So that's the one thing I did not like about this. Um, the other thing has to relate to the front of the machine. I opened the machine, it was wrapped nicely, and so when I pull it off, there are two things that stuck out as a flaw. And I'm not sure if it's from a previous owner or if the manufacturer had cut it. But number one, there's a slice right here. I'm showing you without any light on it. If I show you with the light, maybe it's hard to see. But there is a slice there. I don't know how to show it to you, but there is an actual slice. Like somebody took a box cutter and sliced it. The second thing I did not like about this, when it came, the front air flows were pointed up like this. They were all actually pointed up like this. And on the side here, these were sticking out. And you can see how fragile these things are. They, they, I didn't even touch it and this came off. So these on this side had um, been worn off for some reason, I don't know why. So what I did was I had to shove it all the way in on the right hand side so that I'm able to maneuver it. That's the one thing I did not like about it. It was, it felt like it was poorly made and that they did not put it in correctly and so that's one of the flaws that I don't like about this but otherwise I like it for the purpose that it keeps the air cool so that is my review of of this the I'm the SPT SF 608 RA one thing I need to show you is the water and what it sounds like with the air so let me go ahead and do that for you right now so what I wanted to show you guys was when I turn it on it will start in high mode so what you're hearing is high mode and you can hear what the air sounds like at high mode as you press it it gets softer and this is the low mode you can hardly hear from this angle as I'm pointing it down that it's actually on. But if I were to, there, it's actually on. But you can hardly hear it from here, which I like. And so what I'm going to show you now is on the back, I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to turn this on on the back when I turn this around. So let me show you that. So what I'm going to show you now is when you press on. So right now you can see there's no water flowing, right? There's no water flowing through here. So what I'm going to do is press 
the cool button right here says upside down says cool air. Let's press that and let's see what happens. And as you can see, the water is starting to flow right there. Can you hear that? So when it when it comes to you unwrapped, um, when you unwrap it, the screen actually goes all the way down to the water. But I like the sound of water dripping. So what I did was I cut it to like this area right here. When I took it out, I cut it halfway. And you can actually hear the water dripping. That's something I like. If you don't like it, don't cut it. And you won't hear the dripping. But I like the dripping sound. I like the water falling through like this. And you can see water falling on the film. And if you turn it off, this thing dries up really fast. You can just turn it off and it'll dry it'll dry up. So I'll do that right now. And as it's turning off, just leave it for some time and it'll just dry by itself. And it's actually running. I mean it's actually on and running. And you can probably hardly hear it. It's a very soft sound. You can feel the wind from back here. So this is my review for the SPT SF 608 RA swamp cooler or some of them call them something down. So again, this is two reviews for the Plenos and the SPT. Hope you enjoyed the review. Please subscribe to my channel, like it, and yeah, leave a comment at the bottom if you really enjoyed this, okay? Thanks again for stopping by Chacho. That's all for now. Talk to you guys later. Aloha.